What's up, this your boy CJ Goodfellow back doing another boxing clinic video today. And um we'll talk about the um Andre Ward, is he being set up to lose? Um and kind of like is HBO trying to push the little European invasion on their broadcast team. We 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 get into that in a hot minute. But um I, I watched the interview, you know, Nestor at the boxing uh, voice. Um, did with Angel Garcia, and he made a valid uh, point at the end of his breakdown, which was one of the best um, breakdowns of a war Kovalev that I've seen that anybody do. To follow the Boxing Voice on YouTube and uh, look that video up. That he said that actually that you know HBO uh, forced Ward to move up for him to lose to Kovalev, so Kovalev can make a name off of Andre Ward, and that's a hundred percent correct. But at the same time, didn't Andre Ward do the same thing to Chad Dawson? Um, he made Chad Dawson squeeze down. Um, I think Chad has been on the record for saying the HBO forced him to move down, or something. But they wouldn't give him a, give him a TV date or something like that to, to move down to face Ward to make Ward a bigger star. But after that fight, you know, Ward went through promotional issues, and it's the same case here. Now that Ward is the rabbit that don't got the gun. Um, in this situation, um, I don't want to hear him complain and cry about it. You know what I mean? He did the same thing to bad Chad Dawson. After that, Dawson's career was never the same. He fell off. Um, and I, I don't have any sympathy for Andre Ward because he did it to another um, excellent boxer in Chad Dawson. And it's his time. It's his turn to, um, to be on, on, a, on the other end of the pole. You know what I mean? And and he's the he's the he's the little scared little bitch, and Kovalev's the big bad monster, and that forcing him to move up to fight a bigger guy, who is a good puncher. So at the end of the day, I have no complaints. Like I tell you guys, I'm actually a truth teller. I'm not a hater. I call it straight down the line how I see it, and support it with facts. But at the end of the day, HBO is really um, trying to push the European invasion, um, and they're really cutting out the bullshit fights for not picking up Pacquiao Vargas. And you know, not picking up some of the other bullshit fights. Um, usually, um, a lot of people gave them flat because they tried to shelf uh, Terrence Crawford until next year after his postal performance, which I didn't think was bad. I thought it was an exciting fight to me. Um, but a lot of these, you know, new generation fans, you know, and old generation fans, want to see them all out brawls like the Hearns, the Sugar Ray Leonard's, the Marvin Hagler's, and um, that's that's why they want to put Crawford on the shelf. But one fight fell through, and Crawford. And Melina got picked up. Alan Bob did their thing. Uh, but they're pushing the European event. Even though they tried to shelf for Salo Machenko, now he's getting more exciting. Um, they're trying to push Golovkin very, very hard. And I think because more of uh, the casual fan can identify with the European fighter because they're very, very exciting um, and very, very all action packed. And, you know, they bring the pain. But at the end of the day, a lot of the boxers, American boxers, really outbox them, but I'm gone.